Nowadays, virtual orchestra videos are just popping up everywhere. Maybe you two want to make your own, but don't know exactly how to do it. Today, I'm going to show you how I did this video here, which is the online world saxophone orchestra, where I put together more than 50 musicians from 20 countries around the world. Today, we'll talk about workflow, how to organize your video, folder structure, audio mixing, and video editing. Are you ready? Let's get started. <music> Hey, Martino here at the London Saxophone School, bringing you weekly tutorials on how to become a better saxophone player and musician. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the little bell. Last week, I released a video for the Online World Saxophone Orchestra playing What a Wonderful World. And I got a lot of comments from people asking how did I edit the video and how does it sound so good. Because the process is pretty big, I'm gonna divide it into four big chunks with 14 steps overall. The first step in creating your video is to decide on a song. We went for what I wanted for world because it has the emotions and the feelings that we wanted to convey in the video. And because we produced this in lockdown period, we wanted to express to the people of the world a sense of love, of togetherness, of collaboration, basically of positivity. For this project, I collaborated with my dear friend and colleague, Francesco Gallo, who's a great saxophone player and composer from Naples, Italy. Ciao. The next step is the arrangement. You want to have a clear score for your song or if your project is more improvised based, be sure to have a clear structure for your song so you know what each musician is going to do in each session as this will save you a lot of time in the edit. For our project, Francesco worked on the arrangement and we're going to talk more about that later. While Francesco was working on the score, we started spreading the word among musicians or in our communities and around the world. Anyone from professionals to amateurs to music college students to parents, anyone. We talked to a lot of people. Once the score was finished and finalized, Francesco exported a mini track for the whole arrangement, which we're gonna call track A. We then sent track A to our drummer and to a bass player who were the first two musicians to record their videos. And we're gonna call their track, track B. We then took track A and track B and combined them into one single track. We sent that track to our two pianists, guitarist and percussionist who produced track C. So track C is actually the final human version of the rhythm section. At this point, we were ready to send everything to the saxophone players. What the sax players actually got was track C, which was the human rhythm section, plus track A, which was the general MIDI track at a lower volume. So they could still hear the saxophone lines and have a feel for, of the general vibe. Now for the filming part, we gave specific instructions to all the musicians in order to end up with similar videos to work with in the edit. One, tell them to film horizontally like this, okay, just like that. Tell them film horizontally because that's gonna give you more options to work with in the edit afterwards. Two, tell them to wear headphones when they record. The backing track should be played in the headphones and the only thing that should be recorded is their part. Three, tell your musicians to film in a bright place, possibly in front of a window so you get nice and natural light coming in so the musician is bright and clear. Four, tell them to film in a carpeted room or somewhere where it's not too echoey. You want to work with a dry sound rather than an echoey sound because it's going to be easier to enhance the sound of every single musician later in, in the mix. 5. Tell them to use a tripod, a stack of books or whatever it takes to make the shot steady. You don't want the video to be all shaky because that's going to ruin the whole quality of the final video. 6. You can give the option to use a microphone if the musician knows how to do it and how to sync it in post. Otherwise the audio from the phone is perfectly okay. The next section is about audio. Remember that audio is very important when you're making a video, almost more important than the actual quality of the video. So if you know how to mix, then spend a lot of time in mixing the song properly so you get a nice uh, end result. If you're not comfortable with mixing or have no idea how to mix, then send them to someone who knows how to do it so you end up with a nice quality audio. For our project, Francesco did the mixing. He did a wonderful job in mixing us together and making us sound as if we were all in the same room. 
In the next section, we're going to talk about folder structure, how I organize my folders on my computer so I knew exactly where every single video was and it was easy to find. Let's go to the computer and I'll show you actually how I did it. If you go to the computer here, I have a folder for YouTube. Then this is the folder for the project, What a Wonderful World. This is divided into two main folders, video prep and video making. Video prep is all about parts and um, videos and individual videos and audio. So if you see my first uh, folder parts, this is all about the score of the, of the piece and the individual parts. So alto, soprano, alto, tenor and baritone plus all the uh, folders for the rhythm section. Then I have my players videos, which are divided into again here into two main folders, which are Francesco and Martino with Francesco musicians and Martino's musicians. Both are divided into uh, the same structure. So rhythm section, so uh, folder for bass, folder for drums and folder for piano, because we had two pianists. I have two folders, one for each player. Uh, then soprano divided into uh, musicians names and, and what they played. Then altos, uh, I had one, two and three and tenors, same thing and baritone, same thing. Francesco had the same thing. Uh, I just didn't number them, but it's the same idea. OK, so you want to number and you want to uh, create folders for each individual instrument. Then here I have this folder, uh, this document in which we sent to all the musicians with the uh, recording specifications and the instructions basically on how to record and I also did a little map of the countries that were involved into in, in the in the project and it ended up being uh, 20 countries from around the world and then the second big folder is the video making which is all about the editing and I had the video folder which I um, this structure here of the um, of the video folder is the, the one I use for my YouTube videos. And because I didn't have footage because it was the other video uh, in the other folder, I only used the completed edits. And, and here I was putting all my different drafts of the video until I got to the locked video, which is the final video, which I then copied and put in the final video folder. So I actually knew which the final video was. Uh, I also did a IGTV teaser for Instagram, uh, which is just a a portion of the video just a shorter video uh, for graphics I had two folders for graphics one for the flags uh, with every single country in there and then I had one for thumbnails which are here so this is actually this is the logo for the orchestra I had I had three and I just came up with this one here as the final one and then the final thumbnail is this one here, the one I use on the YouTube video. This section is all about video editing. Once I had all the videos in my computer, I did this. I took a sheet of paper and divided it into different sections. And I wrote down the names of every single musician that was that participated in the project. So I knew how many people I had overall and also how many people were playing each individual part. That gave me an idea of how many people I was working with and I prepared mentally with, <laughs> with what I had to do. Now let me show you how I actually started the editing process. As soon as I got all the videos from every single musician, the first thing that I did was um, import the, the final mix that Francesco prepared onto Final Cut. So then I took every single video and synced the video to the, to the track, to the final mix. And I did that for, every, um, for all the 52 musicians. Once I was sure that every single video was synced, I started chopping everything up and uh, and work on the edit. The way I, I did it, I basically just followed the score. So showing whoever was playing in that moment. It starts with a rhythm section only here. So drums and now two pianos. So that's rhythm section and then saxophones. All the saxophones in here. And then going back to rhythm section, drums, percussion, and then back to altos and tenors. So on and that's how I did it and I did that for the whole for the whole video it took me a while because it's there's a lot of people and uh, but that's essentially the process then there was one more thing if you a lot of people have asked how can you modify the size of each video and this is super simple check it out let's take for example this little flag 
okay, which is up here, it's, it's smaller than the actual video. Uh, so you select your clip, then you go on to transform. And then from here, you're going to be able to adjust the size of, of your flag or whatever you want uh, to what you require. And that's how I did. That's why it takes a long time because I had to uh, adjust every single video and it's just basically like making a puzzle. And I was going a little bit crazy. But anyway, uh, I'm super happy it, it, it worked out and it's super worth it. So that's how you do it. Super simple. It just takes patience and, uh, and, and a lot of breaks. <laughs> So those are all the steps that I took in order to create the online world saxophone orchestra. If you have any comments or doubts or questions on this, just let me know here below and I'll reply to your message. Question of the day. What kind of virtual orchestra video are you planning on making? What instruments? What style? And also, what kind of video editing software do you use? I use Final Cut. What do you use? Premiere, DaVinci. Just let me know here below. Thanks for checking out this video. If you want to see the full video of the Online World Saxophone Orchestra, I'll put a link in the description and also at the end of this video. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and hit the little bell.